Hello Year 2, it's Monday the 22nd of February 2021 and here's your maths lesson today. First, check the work we did before the holidays and here are the answers, okay? So this is page answers to page 8 and page 7, okay? So the answers are also on the slides, please make sure you've marked your work. Okay, let's read our learning question together. Can I add equal groups? It's our second day on this learning question. Okay, got some chocolate boxes here, and my chocolate boxes are the groups. How many equal groups have I got? That's right, there are two. Remember, I want lots of shouting out, please. Two equal groups. Now, how many are there in each group? Let's have a look. Did you count in twos? How many were there? Two, four, six, eight. Two boxes with eight in each group. So, what's my addition number sentence now? How many have I got here? And how many have I got here? What number am I going to write in this box? That's right, eight, well done. What number am I going to write in this box? That's it, eight, because it's a repeated addition, the same number. And how many all together? Work it out for me. How many all together? Did you get 16? I got 16. So I put eight in my head and I counted on in twos. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Did you count that way or did you count them all in ones? Let's look at another example. Here, my base 10 are the groups because it's a group of 10, isn't it? So how many groups have I got? There are mm, equal groups. Shout out for me. There are five equal groups. Now, how many are there in each group? There are in each group. Well, we know, don't we? There are 10 in each group. Now, how am I gonna fill in my repeated addition? What's gonna go, gonna go in here? Is it gonna be five or 10? Well, it can't be five, can it? Because I've not got five in each group. I've got 10 in each group. So I'm gonna write 10 in each box. 10, add 10, add 10, add 10, add 10. And what's the total? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Total is 50. There are 50 all together. And can you see it's a repeated addition because each number is the same. Another example. This time the Numicon are the groups. So there are mm, equal groups. How many, everybody? That's right, three. Now, how many are there in each group? Let's have a quick count. I'm going to count in twos two, four, six, eight, and one more. How many? Nine, that's right. There are nine in each group. Three equal groups with nine in each group. So what number's gonna go in my first calculation box? That's it, nine, because there are nine in the first group. What about the second box? Nine again, because there are nine in the second group. And the third box, of course, it's nine because there are nine 
in the third box. Now, what's the total? Hmm, can you add nine and nine and nine? Have a look at the picture. How did you do it? Do you know the answer? Shout out if you do. It's 27. How did you do that? Did you count them all in ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Did you do it like that? Did you count them in twos? Did anybody see that mm, it's nearly 10? So 10, 20, 30, but I've got to take off one, two, three, and that makes 27. Did anybody do any clever counting like that? Right. Now it's time to think about our first task. Our first task, could you turn to page nine in your booklet and write the date, which is the 22nd of February, 2021. Okay, so here you've got question one, two more questions, exactly the same as the ones we've just worked through. So you've got some groups and you've got to fill in the spaces, okay? Now here, just be careful, they're not towers of 10, okay? So don't be tricked, they're not towers of 10. Here, for question two, the, a hand is one group. So what's the addition sentence here? Here, a bag is the group. So what's the repeated addition here, okay? So now it's time to complete page nine, which is your first task in your maths booklet. Okay, now we're going to do something slightly different now. We're going to look at repeated addition sentence and we're going to use our counting skills. So let's read the calculation together. Two, add two, add two. How many twos have I got? How many twos, everyone? Yes, I've got three twos. So I'm going to count in twos on my hundred square and I'm going to count in twos three times. Two, four, six. Can you see the three twos there? One, two, three. Three twos, and the answer is six. Well done. Let's do another one. Read the number sentence with me. Five. How many fives have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Let's count in fives on my hundred square. There's my first one, five. Then we go to 10. Then 15. What's the next number gonna be? Great job. 20. What's the next number gonna be everyone? 25. And I stop there because I need five. One, two, three, four, five. I need five fives. Look, I've got them. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer to this one must be 25. We don't need to draw counters for this because we can count in fives. Okay, let's do another one. Read the calculation with me. 10. How many tens have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six tens. Now I hope lots of you are shouting out already. I know, I know, I know. What's the answer, everybody? Yes, it must be 60 because you're so good at counting in tens. Let's put those six tens on our hundred square though. There's my first 10, 10, and add another 10, 20, add another 10. I want you to shout out when I've counted enough tens. 40, 
50, 60. Oh, amazing. I heard you all shout stop from your homes. Well done. And can you see there? I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six tens. And there are six tens here. My answer is 60. So when we're doing repeated additions with tens, we don't need to use counters or manipulatives. We could use our counting skills. Write your second task, okay? I want you to write the date and the learning question on page 10, okay? Page 10. And then you're going to copy these three repeated additions, okay? You're going to copy them into your book and you're going to work out the answer by counting in twos, work this one out by counting in fives, this one out by counting in tens. Do not draw any pictures because you can count in twos, fives and tens. That's your second task today, which I want you to do now. Just a reminder that your work today, page eight, sorry, page nine and page 10 must be emailed to teachersy2 at birchfields.manchester.sch.uk. Really clear pictures, please.